Thanks for sticking around so long because uh, it is the final talk of today, so your endurance has been tested. Um, I'm Ruben Waterman, I'm the founder of, uh, of Bitter, and at Bitter we offer a non-custodial um, Bitcoin saving service so that at least people in the EU can do a recurring SEPA payment, and then every time the SEPA payment arrives to Bitter, you automatically get Bitcoin back into your own hard hardware wallet. A SEPA payment, uh, that's the European payment rails for interbank payments. So from any bank in Europe to any other bank in Europe, that goes via SEPA. Thanks. Um, so, well, how it works for most people is that, let's say you will receive your salary on the 24th of the month, you ask your bank to send like 5% of it to Bitter every 25th of the month, uh, we'll convert it from, bit from Euro into Bitcoin, will deposit it into your own wallet, and then you enjoy your savings. Great. Now, um, this is an example of one of my customers, and he does 25 euros a day. He signed up about mid-June, and by now that's already 96 UTXOs. So he is doing dollar cost averaging perfectly, but in terms of block space, it's really not that efficient. So. Of course, I also want to do something with Lightning, and I was thinking like, hmm, what if I try to move all my small payments? Because, I mean, 25 is not super tiny, it's not a micro payment, but it's probably also not very scalable to put all these 25 uh, euro payments on the Bitcoin blockchain. So I wanted to try and move as many of these transactions off chain and onto the Lightning network. So I'm gonna switch screens now and um, show how that works. Uh, let's see. Um, I should, yeah. So this is the email that a, oh, how is that possible? The uh, PowerPoint is still taking over the screen. Sorry. So this is the email that people usually get when they sign up. So it'll say like the payment reference, which has to go in the description of your SEPA payment. And then of course our bank details. Um, now to play around with this lightning stuff, um, I've chosen to use spontaneous payments and that is not available like in, um, for example, the latest version of LND. So I had to find a partner that can deploy a specific version of LND, and and it also has to be always online. So I reached out to the guys over at Noddle, and they were like very enthusiastic to help. So thanks for that. Thanks, guys. Um, so let me uh, attach my deposit code to my Noddle node. Um, let's hope that this works. Yep. Um, so I'll, I'll paste in the payment reference that's, that's from Bitter, and I'll pair the, um, the note. Um, I need to wait a few seconds because this would be very dangerous if it always works, so I need to confirm it via email uh, that that is actually my deposit code and my note. Hmm. Am I connected to the internet? Yeah, I was, because I was able to access my noddle. Oh. No, I don't want to reply. Maybe I can do it on my phone. Okay. Uh, yep, there it goes. So it's asking like, hey, is this your lightning node? Uh, and I'll say, yes, it is. Beautiful piggy bank. So yeah, that's done be oh, behind the background. Now I can go into my uh, bank and make a payment. In the meantime, I'll... Uh, Oh, 
I changed this code. This is not my real code. <laughs> Oh wait, before, like this is uh, not all. So right now, as you can see, there's 80 euros in it. In my, this is the, the Zap wallet, which is connected to my Noddle node. So we're gonna make sure there's 100 euros in it, right? Um, Cool. So we'll send it. Oh, we'll set 20 euros. <laughs> so that left. Uh, let me go back to Zap. Oh. Hmm, now the, uh, this thing stopped working, but I do have my Bitcoin. <laughs> there we go. 20 euros more. <laughs> so, Yes, it works, but uh, we will not like deploy it right away on Bitter because it's using LND 0.6, um, and yeah, it's reckless to to encourage people to deploy that in production. But the concept is cool, I think. Just going from euros to Bitcoin in like 10 seconds—that that's pretty cool. Uh, I had a couple more slides, but I'm just gonna open it up for questions, except for this one. Um, so I, I'd really like to thank the Noddle guys, uh, Bitco for my awesome piggy bank design, Max for thinking, like helping me thinking this through, and of course my developers uh, from around 25. Yep, that's it. Any questions? Awesome. Um, so how does the channel management go here? Do you, does, do you so, open channels every time? The amount goes up, or do you guess the amount? Or so for now, uh, because we use this key send th feature the, in L and D, we cannot route payments anyways because we can only use nodes that have L and D zero point six in this specific branch. So what we do right now, and how we could roll it out at this very day, is we open a channel for four times your initial amount, and then we already push the first transaction into like your, like as a remote balance, and we can hopefully reuse the channel three times. Um, now, Max Hillebrand gave me some really cool advice to, uh, when we close the channel, we only do that when we also need to open a new channel again, so that it's just one transaction. So there's some optimizations we can make there. Hi, um, how do you sign up for this service? Um, do you have like a full scale KYC? Um, well, we, well, we do obviously do KYC because you're sending money from your bank account, so we get to see your name. Uh, this was okay by our bank 
but the only limitation is that we don't take any corporate customers. So you have like only consumers in Europe can use this. Uh, the sign up process is basically you put in your email address, phone number and Bitcoin address or XPUB if you prefer. And then you have to go to your bank to set up the recurring SEPA payment. Yeah, uh, sometimes I want to buy Bitcoin uh, during the weekends, and uh, then I do I do buy in Get Bitter and I use SEPA Instant. But uh, I I think at least in my bank uh, it doesn't work during during weekends. So I was thinking if uh, maybe you are thinking using another system like Revolut or something like that that would allow immediate payments. So I would like to add Revolut. I try to si sign up for a, for an account, but they. Their risk appetite does not fit a Bitcoin company. Um, when it comes to these instant SEPA payments, it's, it, it really looks quite nice from the outside. But unfortunately, um, not every country is implementing instant SEPA the same way. So for example, the Netherlands has a different system than the European-wide system. So you can do payments in any Dutch bank to any other, except for Bank and maybe one, one other. So this is really annoying, like it should, instant SEPA should be a European wide thing, but uh, it does not. Here in Germany, Sparkasse works perfectly fine with, uh, with Bitter, so even payments on the weekend, they go through instantly. Any more questions? All right, last two. So when you're making that transaction, uh, where is the, like how does the customer know what price he's buying for? Oh. Uh, so, do you get a, do you get to choose beforehand, or is there just like a no, guaranteed fee kind of thing? I I did convert it at market price. Uh oh, shit. Sorry. So you get this kind of email which says like, uh, we received 20 euros from you, we took 30 cents, this is how much, how much sets we, uh, we bought at this exchange rate. The, f the mining fee here is obviously zero because we use Lightning. And this is how much Bitcoin is in your piggy bank. Got it. Yeah, I was wondering, um, do you also accept um, normal SIPA payments and non-instants? And if so, um, do you run an exchange rate risk if the um, payment comes two days later? Um, well, you don't, you don't get to choose your purchase price. So it's just when we see the transaction, that's when we will buy the Bitcoin at, uh, on Kraken. So we don't really run any exchange risk. So if I get this email today and I make the payment and it arrives two days later on your end, you will just buy at the spot price two days later. You won't receive this email before the money arrives to our bank account. Like uh, that all happens in like one second where the money arrives to our bank account, we buy the Bitcoin on Kraken, we send it out using our own Bitcoin and then you receive this email. Ah, uh, gotcha, thank you. All right. Awesome, thanks so much. Thank you.